Hey, how's it going? Well, I made a video earlier that kind of sucked. At the time, I thought I was being clever, but it, it just kind of sucked. What's going on for me is... I've went to the left more than I was, or more toward what I have naturally been, And now I've been, part of me is slightly moving back to center, and it's for reasons that kind of suck. I've been trying to, one of the reasons why I've been trying to find more uh, content creators on the left is to hold me there on the left for a little, for at least a little longer. You know, um, one of the problems that I'm running across is it's really hard to be original and entertaining and thought provoking when arguing against the right that tends to always be pushing the same types of things. It's, it's, it's usually pushing for uh, values of the past in some way. The notion we should go backwards a little bit. So, with the right, when it comes to the right doing, you know, saying something that's extreme, it's usually, it's not, it's not about any sort of new idea or new way to look at an at at a situation it's always more about how blunt the person was being you know if it was racist how blatantly racist was it that they said if it was xenophobic how blatantly xenophobic was it that was being said and you can poke fun at that for a short period of time and then in general the audience will become kind of bored with it or at least some of the audience. And I was basically declaring that, yeah, there, there's times where I get kind of bored with it. Um, with the left, there's always something unexpected. You know, someone always finds some new way to approach an issue, whether it makes sense or not, whether it's it's right or not is isn't the thing it's the fact that there's always something new as i've stated said before that the left just seems to be more creative there was i might as well mention this at the same time uh you know how there have been some people trying to point these studies out showing that people on the left uh ha more often have mental problems well, besides the obvious things of, uh, that, that were also mentioned, that uh, people on the left will tend to want to uh, get something done about uh, their mental problems and seek help for their mental problems more often, there's also the, the element where people who are smarter often have more mental problems. So there's a, there's a smarter element to it as well. Um, and people can be upset about that if they want, but, but, you know, overall the left tends to be more creative. So, you know, more creative people are often more unstable, but they come up with things and they state things that are unexpected. Always expect the unexpected. And no one expects the Spanish Inquisition. Okay. Um, so, people on the left are easier to make fun of. I mean, it's true. Does it mean that it's right to, to continually make, make fun of them? I mean, I don't know. I, maybe I shouldn't even say, is it right? Because it doesn't, it's not right or wrong. It's just, it just is. So, I don't know why I decided to start to frame it that way. Um...
I wish that I didn't sometimes enjoy the way that some of the extremes on the left uh, were made fun of. I sometimes wish I didn't enjoy that so much. And so it's it's been hard when I sometimes start to go in this mode, oh, let's watch some right-wing channels. I wish I didn't have that desire, you know? I wish I didn't desire to look at, oh, uh, what's the left doing now that, that people are making fun of? I wish that curiosity didn't happen so often. As I mentioned in the video that sucked, and this video probably sucks too, and that's all right. Um, how many more ways can someone make fun of Trump? There was a conversation, I, I can't remember what, what his name is. He has a, an avatar, he has a, Jesus as his avatar, even though he's an atheist. Can't remember, but he was saying, well, yeah, uh, everything about with Trump, oh, orange man bad. Orange man bad, well, yeah, how many different ways can someone say orange man bad? Some people, I mean, people sometimes get creative with it, they try to get creative with it, but at this point it's just sort of, it's worn out. It's no longer very interesting. Um... I look at uh, Stephen Colbert, who makes probably a quarter of his skits revolving around uh, making fun of Trump. Um, yeah, it's it's just it gets pretty boring to watch. I wish things weren't this way, but we're at a point now when more left-leaning ideas, socially, are becoming mainstream. It's also, you know, we see styles, fashion. Um, more radical fashion has become more mainstream. So you can go to just about any department store, a Fred Meyer, a, a, well, obviously Walmart. Walmart has just about everything. That's not a good example. But you, you go to just about any sort of department store or just stores in general. I mean, I've even seen it at hardware stores. You know, people sometimes have, have you know, pink hair, blue hair. They've got some piercings. They've got, you know, a different type of facial hair configuration. They've got a, a, an extreme haircut, something like that, and you just kind of see it as standard. You, you see it everywhere. Um, and so we're at a point now where looking more mundane, to some degree, has a, a hint of rebellion in it. What you're not you're not trying to express yourself through through your appearance you're not trying to express how how unusual you are with your appearance oh you rebel it it it, it sounds ridiculous but that's kind of the point that the the point that we're in now um it's so weird so many things that I just think about how there are so many things that, uh, when I was young, I thought would be neat if they would come out, they would uh, somehow become more common in the future. Have. They have become more common. There's also, well, and there's all, I think about technology too. I, I used to, in my 20s, I was always like, man, I hope LEDs can eventually become more common. You know, when, when white LEDs first came out, man, were they expensive. Just, just for one LED with, with uh, the little uh, metal, uh, the little wires coming out of it, you know, not, not, no electronics associated, just, just an LED by itself, just one white was uh, seven bucks. 
I remember that. Um, and, uh, yeah, I always thought, man, wouldn't it be cool if that, that could eventually start replacing regular lights? Well, now we've got that. And now, uh, LED, uh, incandescent bulb replacements are, are very common and they put out much better light than the fluorescent counterparts, you know, the curly Q bulbs. None of those fluorescent curly Q bulbs uh, put out a true full spectrum. At least none of the, the regular ones you get at stores. I suppose if you go some expensive route and go to a photography shop or something like that, maybe at the time you could have found some that were a little better about that, but the LEDs can do it with ease. And they're, they're even replacing, uh, they're e even in this neighborhood, they've replaced the, uh, the street lights. Uh, not traffic lights, just the street lights uh, with LEDs. And the light is so much better. And you're starting to not see the, uh, you go down the highway and have all these orange lights. And no, now it's, a, it's nice and white. Now, the only disadvantage to that, yeah, I'm really rambling. The only disadvantage to that is now car headlights often look the same uh, color temperature as the uh, street lights. And whereas before it was, they were always different. So uh, whenever you saw a light out of the corner of your eye, you knew what type of light it was just by the, you know, uh, the color. <laughs> anyway, man, am I rambling. Um, so this video probably sucks too. But it will be list listed as a uh, an unedited rambling video. So, <laughs> it is kind of a trip that things that uh, twenty years ago were considered radical are considered pretty normal now. Um. There's some very cool things about that. It, I just wish that the... I wish that the push against it wasn't considered rebellious. I guess that's all I gotta say. Thanks.